went ahead and uh, got the front wheels and the front tires um, ready to go and try and mount those today. Uh, let's see, the wheels in the front, in case anybody wanted to know, front wheels are 19 by 12, zero offset. These tires are 255, 35 19s. So we'll see how much stretch that gives. And then, uh, yeah, fun fact, these run the same tires. Well, 255, 55 19s. But yeah, I didn't know that. All right, so I'm fresh back from the tire shop. And boy, we got meat. Yeah, we got meat. So if anybody wants to know what a 255, uh, 35, 19 looks like on a 19 by 12, you get about that much stretch on one half and this much stretch on the other. And that's about it. But they will fit. You just got to know the right tire place. And I had a plug. But, uh... I'm definitely liking this whole lip thing. If I want to go stancy, I can. I'm probably not, but it's nice to know that I can. And I definitely realized how big these were. You know, people use these as rear tires. <clears throat> but can't wait to throw these on and see what they actually look like on the ground by themselves for the first time. Brought, since them, been brought them back to the garage. This is one of the new fronts. That is old front. And if you want to know what it looks like, that's what it looks like on the car. Front bumper is in stage one of painting for the base coat. But yeah, that's uh, as a comparison, that's how wide that sticks out. Come to the other side, it still has a stock one. Big difference, very big difference. So that's that. And I got some lip stuff if I want to run the fenders to lip. Gonna be taking those today. The tires for those are coming today. Um, and like I said, that's going in front bumpers going in paint. All the paint for that bumper is in those boxes. Uh, let's see what else is going on today. Also, one thing that I'm doing because the alignment shop that gave me my alignment, they screwed the rear studs, wheel studs and on that wheel specifically so two of them don't come off i'm gonna have to break them off which means i'll have to replace them i haven't checked that side or that side this side was fine but i went ahead and got some gk touch extended lug nuts for like 24 bucks and then whenever you do extended lug nuts to seat them properly you need open-ended lugs open-ended lugs so this is for the front the front ones are going to be the 14.3, uh, I think, uh, for the threads and stuff. And then the rears are just an even 13. So I'll be taking this wheel off, taking that wheel off, popping these studs in, and then tightening them down with these so that I can strengthen my lugs and give them the extra, you know, benefit for that because it's kind of hard to get in there with the allen key i mean with the key for it and stuff like that i chose purple because the paint's got purple in it and they were all out of black and uh the other one so just gonna go ahead screw these on here so that when i come back i can just get to work on them uh, uh let's see what else is going on outside of that i am going to redrain the coolant and try to get the overheating solved uh, i think that it's just coolant flushes that needs to be done because it doesn't leak or anything um, if it's not the coolant flushes then I'll replace the thermostat I was told it was replaced where is it uh, you can't really see it in there but the thermostat does have like brand new gasket around it and everything so I was told it was replaced I went with that that's probably on me if it wasn't and then uh, I'll knock that out because once I can if I can get this thing to not overheat as soon as it hits normal operating temperature, then gives me more of a reason to drive it. So there's that. Just giving an update on it. So those wheels will be next. So one of the tires came in the mail. They shipped them separately. I'm guessing they came from two different 
facilities, but just to give you guys a look, that's, that's how much stretch I'm gonna be running. I can't stress it enough. This tire is huge, man. God damn. Like, I knew they'd be big, but dang, these is big, big. You can see the numbers right there. I'm just bigger than my midsection. We're gonna see how these mount, though. So, part two with these studs. Um, just to give an example, that's the old stud, or the OEM stud. They go that far. Um, actually, that's not a good example because I got the lugs on there. Here, <laughs> these are the new studs, these are the old ones. You can see how far, how much farther they come out. So, really worthy investment, especially if you got damage to the threads and stuff like that. You know, primarily I'm replacing them because the shop fucked mines when they tightened them down, but I also want to protect my investment on the wheels a little bit more so that's another thing but when it comes to replacing studs if you didn't know you literally just hammer them out and and it pops out when you put the new ones in you put them in and that's why you have to have open-ended lug nuts so you put the new ones in and you put the open-ended lug nuts on you tighten it all the way down to seat them properly they have to be torqued down. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of loose in there. But that's it. So I'm going to do the rest of these, and then I'm going to put the other tire on, and we'll see how that looks. Okay. So I got those. Got them all out, as you can see. Uh, if you do move it, make sure that you line the holes up again, just to be exact. But you literally just take it, come back there, push it through. That's a lot longer than normal. And then you take the bolt, I mean bolt, the wheel lug and tighten it on there. And you can see, without it being seated properly, you don't want that holding your wheels in. So that's why you have to tighten them down. Uh, but that's pretty much all it is to it. That's just for anybody that doesn't know how to do it. I'm gonna do that on this side. And on the other side, in the meantime, front bumper has been given its first coat of color. Letting that dry. Oh, I'm letting that dry while I do this. Then I'll do another coat once this wheel is done. I'll do another coat of that. Then I'll do that side once that wheel is done. I'll do another coat. That should be the final coat. So then after that, I'm going to try to get the fenders hard mounted. And by the time I finish trimming those up to get them bolted on, this should be ready to go on as well. And then we'll go from there. And just to report it back, I got those all on. Tightened them. I have an electric impact, so I just used that. Gave it a couple of ugly doogas. They sat right in. They've been fine ever since. Second coat of paint is on the bumper. Looking decent. I got one more coat for that, and then it's gloss time. In the meantime, I'm hard mounting or adjusting these S15 fenders to be hard mounted. So I'm trimming it here slowly but surely so that I could push it in and fit, get it fitted. I'm really trying to line up that with the OEM bolt hole and just trimming accordingly. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I can get that mounted without taking too much off of it. Uh, I'm seeing that I'm definitely gonna have to paint this when I paint the car, so I'll just do that all together. Okay, uh, this one is hard mounted on there. It's a lot of dust on it right now, but it is hard mounted on there. I had to cut this much from here. Um, I had to redrill that hole, move it over a little bit, and redrill that hole. And then I had to add a hole here, and the bottom is zip tied in the factory locations. But it is on there, it's not going anywhere. Fitment could be a little bit better in that area. Fitment on the headlights and everything is fine. Um, so yeah, but this is the, the result I got. Door still open and closed. So it'll be on to the other side. Um, and then when I get all four wheels, once I get the rears and everything, then I'll start trimming 
and hammering out what needs to be hammered in order for me to get full lock to lock clearance. This is on this, that's the third coat of paint. So I'll be glossing that soon, but I'm gonna get started on the other side doing the studs and stuff like that. Not really gonna record too much of that cause it's this side just on repeat. So yeah. So I went ahead and got both fenders hard mounted. So that one's there. Oh, no, that one's there. And this one's here. There's a downfall to this side. I got to repaint that and I cut off more than I wanted to on this side on accident. But outside of this fuck up, this fender is on, bolted up here, bolted in the front. And so there's that. Oh, uh, and as far as stance, this is how I'm looking. I'm not trying to go fender to lip, but I definitely do want to adjust this. I think I'll end up lowering it about an inch because I don't like that gap right there. So I'd say about an inch. Yeah, maybe 7.75 of an inch or some shit like that. But it's definitely going to go lower. Front bumper's painted. So the next clip of this you will see should be the rear wheels. If not, it'll be me painting the front, uh, the hood. I only used one can of paint of each color on this. So one can of black, one can of color, and then one can of clear to do everything. That was all the three coats of each phase. So I have one can left over that I didn't plan on having, and I'm going to use that for the hood. Um... But yeah, so like I said, next clip should probably will, will probably be the real wheels um, going here. This is how we have to get them on. <laughs> no tire, no machine, no nothing. Straight muscle, FNS. Peace by peace. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Okay, my permito. I yes. can I can do balance because I can close the fucking thing. Ah, uh, you can't oh, balance them on there. Oh, you don't need it in the back. You'll be fine. Balance in the back. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Damn, these are just huge. Okay, this is. Uh, if the audio is weird, it's through a headset. Um, I just got off the phone, but I feel like changing it. This is the difference between the old rear tires and the new rear tires. It's about a tire. Um, and then if anybody wants to know what a 355 will look like on a 15 and a half inch wheel, that's how much stretch you'll have. And fucking yeah. I was not able to get these balanced. They were too wide for the balancing machine. I'm going to see if I can contact some performance shops so I can get those balanced uh, or, you know, figure it out. But it's killing me. I have to put these on the car or at least this one on that side so I can see one side of how it actually sits because I do still have to just camber. Um, that's the amount of camber that I want. So this side is fine, but I have to make this side match. You can clearly see that it's a big, well, it's a difference. 
it's definitely a difference. I'm gonna try to get a better angle. So that's the, this is what I wanna change. I want less camber. Uh, I'm trying to go for this. So you can definitely see a difference. Um, so that's why I'm gonna mount that one because the, this side will probably stay, but that side has to be adjusted. I'm gonna get a leveler, take a measurement on that side and just match it up for this side. And that'll be that. Um, the fronts are the same amounts of camber. And yeah, just fucking call it after that. One thing that you haven't seen that I've done in between time is paint the hood. So now the whole front end is done. It's all one color. The only thing I have left, I do have to adjust my locks for the hood to kind of get rid of this gap that's here. Like this one is lower than this one. So when I lower both of them, that should clean up that because as far as fitment, I'm looking pretty all right uh, everywhere else. So yeah, the only other thing that goes for the front end is this splitter that I have to like wash and prep to be painted black again. And that would be going on the bumper. But outside of that, this is done. And then I'll be painting the rest of the car, but I'll do that in a separate video. Um, so yeah, for now, Let's mount this, drop it, see how it looks. So after using that as a breaker bar, basically, to get all these lugs off, this was the one that they fucked when they put the impact on it. And you can see exactly how fucked it was. I had to break the damn wheel stud just to get the damn thing off. Huh. So... That is why, you know, I was prepared to do that. So I ordered these. So I got these. It was already replaced before it even came off. But with that being said, all of them are off. Pop this up, knock those out, put those in. I'm going to skip all that because I did that for the fronts in this video. And we'll get that one on and see how she sits with both wheels for the first time since they've been made by the axe. Okay, I kind of lied about the whole rear studs thing. Um, it's not exactly the same. It is the same as far as hammering them out. And then you can see like that one was still fucked. But as hammering them out is the same. But this one requires some disassembly. Uh, instead of just taking off the tire and hammering them out like in the front. You have to take off the... Uh, well, you can see clearly that I just have the hub. But you have to take off the caliper the pads and that other bracket, the caliper bracket and the rotor because of this dust shield. Um, because if with all of that on, you can hammer them out, but they'll get stuck back there. So you gotta take all that out to get to these and then you can hammer them out and put them back in then put all this stuff back in. My rear brake pads were fucked. Um, it looks like they still got meat on them, which they do, but uh, they were fucked because I had to literally pry these off of the rotor. And this one was, this is the brake caliper that I knew was seized. Um, so that's probably why it was seized. Um, eventually I'll be replacing all of this anyway. I'm going to do dual calipers in the back, CTSVs in the front. But for now, I'm going to just get some new pads and new rotors from AutoZone and uh, slap those on here just for the time being until I have, well, until I do the funds. I mean, get, until I have the funds to do both, uh, to do the conversion. So with that being said, it's just hammer time. are definitely on here all right give me a second i gotta use two hands okay i'm back from the store I had to go get me some rotors real quick i think these are these are rotors and pads from autozone it's a downgrade though they're not drilled and slotted but whatever it's temporary until i go dual i also had to grab one of these dead blow hammer i'm not sure how many of you know how to what this is or what's the difference between this and that one but basically 
This one pops out a whole lot more force uh, per swing than that one does. And that's, I was doing that because these motherfuckers weren't coming out. So I'm going to try to knock the rest of these out and continue with this install. So I ran into another problem yet again that delays this whole process. Um, I got new rotors and pads. Those are not the new pads. These are the new pads. But I can't put them on. This caliper is seized. No matter what I do, I cannot compress this piston to get the new pads on. So I'm trying to see if I can fit the old pads back on just so that I can put the wheel on and put the car on the damn ground. But that's not the case so far. I do remember I had to literally pry it off with like a screwdriver and stuff. So, uh, so I'm going to just see if I can get it back on somehow, some way. But... It's looking like I'm going to have to order a new caliper, and I don't really want to because it's kind of pointless if I'm just going to replace them anyway when I upgrade the rear brakes. Uh, and I don't, I'm not trying to do a brake upgrade right now. That's a completely different detour, so I'm not really trying to order another rear caliper, but it looks like I'm going to have to in order to just even finish this shit. So we'll see how, how long it takes for me to upload this video. Okay, so I was not able to get the old brake pads back on. I thought that I could use, I thought I could put the old rotor back on with the old brake pads and it would still fit. No. Um, remember, I had to pry it off to get it off. So it wouldn't go back on. I tried everything. So currently, I don't have any brake pads. Um, I'll just remind myself keep all this right here to kind of remind me that it doesn't have brake pads and I won't drive this damn thing until I get a replacement caliper that I don't want to buy but that's probably going to take a week or so and I've already been waiting weeks and weeks and weeks just to put this video out so with me not wanting to push it back and everything I'm gonna just put everything back together with no pads put the tire on there and set this shit down just so that I can see what it will look like and what I have to work with with the tire mounted and then I'm just gonna call it a day after that I'm definitely not too happy about that and my original plan was to have all four wheels but with all of this happening is looking like it's just gonna be the front and the rear on this side I put the other the old rear, the old front tire back on this side so I can move the car so it's literally just gonna be one side has the actual wheels the other one doesn't and I'm gonna just call it a day after that cuz that whole this whole caliper thing is kind of blew my mood towards working on this thing for a little bit especially since I have to wait for more parts that I didn't plan on ordering in the first place but uh, I'm gonna stop ranting I'm gonna just cut to when this is uh when the other wheel is back on and we can see what that looks like so the wheel is not down yet. Now, I know it's wide as hell, but I've encountered another problem. So, like I said, uh, after I get this on the ground, this is the end of the video because this is taking too long. Um, but as you can see, my hack job on cutting the over fenders or cutting for the over fenders in the past is not enough. Uh, specifically right here and I just cut this part so I have to cut more I'm thinking I'm gonna just come from there straight up but I have to cut more just to get the wheel to not rub on anything as it is right now I'm gonna just bolt it up put the car on the ground and get up out of here but yeah next time I come back I'll have to be prepared to cut things up more but it'll probably be a minute before I get back here because I'm also have to order a caliper and go from there so yeah well this is how it is that's how much it pokes out so there's that but damn I mean, boy 
this traction for Damn, you. boy! He fish! So, boy! I that's think that a I cut into it. Boy, damn! But not enough to make a leak. I don't hear anything. But yeah, I'm gonna get this back off the ground because I don't want that to stay like that. So, there you go. Part two, whenever parts get here. Ugh. I threw the over fender on just to see how it looks, but this over fender is angled. That's why it's not lining up here, because the bolt hole is actually down there. So it's angled up just to be able to semi clear it, but it's not too bad a look. I mean, I got different over fenders coming anyway, but I just wanted to get a feel for it. So I'm going to leave this one like this. Uh, my checklist. But when I come back, replace that caliper. So I have to have the caliper when I come back. Uh, so we'll replace the caliper, new rotors and pads in the process of that. Cut more of the uh, rear uh, quarter panel. Cut more of the rear quarter panel to allow this to fit better without like rubbing into things. And it's fine i didn't cut it it just dug into it but it's rubber it bounced back and I, I have to do the same thing on this side that caliper shouldn't be seized um so yeah um if i do end up buying a new caliper i might buy two because the rear brakes are on the same line anyway and if i'm going to have to replace one and I get a good deal on a set of two, then I might just get two and replace everything brake and caliper wise. And then instead of going CTSV in the rear, I'll just do dual OEM in the rear and we'll call it a day off of that. But yeah, that's uh that's a wrap. That's how she's gonna be looking, kinda. It's like a rough draft, but that's not how she's gonna be sitting. See how the things suspension components clear and everything like that. It's a negative 47 offset. So I wouldn't go this wide with anything positive. Absolutely not. But uh yeah, until next time, I'm out. <laughs>